Hello everyone. Welcome back to this lecture. In the previous lecture, I have discussed the fundamentals of K-map. I have also elaborated the construction of two variable K-map, three variable K-map, four variable K-map. And I have talked about five variable K-map also. But in that K-map, I haven't take care about the adjacent property. So I'm just again going to discuss five variable K map and then we will discuss about six variable K map. So let's try to understand how we can easily construct the five variable K map. If number of variables, I'm taking five, there'll be total combinations total cells you can say would be 2 to the power 5 that is 32 so there will be total 32 cells if you start constructing the k map it will look like so if you consider three variables this side there will be eight different cells and two variable this size so there will be four it will look like this right so let's say i am taking a b c this side and d e this side right i am considering a is the msb and e is the lsb right so the combination which i have discussed it is not very difficult to understand till this a bar b bar c bar then a bar b bar c then a bar b c then a bar b c bar right similarly here it will be d bar e bar d bar e then d e then d e bar now after this we need to take care because all the combinations of a bar we have already written so now the combination with a we will be writing right so yesterday when i have elaborated here i did not take care about the adjacency so now if we want to make only one bit change and that a bar is converted to a so this b c bar will remain unchanged so so that these two adjacent cell should not have difference more than one bit right now the next thing this a is going to be a only now there are two options i have i can write abc in that case this c bar will be converted to c or i can have i can have a b bar c bar so in that case a c bar will be remain unchanged and this b will be converted to b bar so i am taking a b c here why i'll tell you later why we are taking this so only one bit is being changed c bar is being converted to c only right so let me draw the cells so i'm just drawing something like this this is the very first thing then the next is this then the next is this let's say then the next is this then this and then this right and now after this a will remain a because all the combinations are with a only now we are left with two choices so it will be b bar c right because bc bar we have already taken if we take b bar c bar then there will be two bit change so we will consider a b bar c and then we write a b bar c bar so there's another again one bit change only c is converted to c bar a b bar is same here and here right now why i haven't taken this a b bar c bar here if we change this thing here this thing will come here if you take a b bar c bar here then also you can 
managed one bit difference here but when it comes to here if it is a b bar c bar then cyclic property will not be maintained because a bar b bar c bar will not be having one bit difference with a b c right so there has to be a cyclic property this value and then the last one should also be deferred by one bit only so this a b c we cannot take here i hope you are getting right so i have taken a b c here and a b bar c bar here we are taking right so let's draw all the cells so let me change the color so this is the very first cell another and then this is right so here you can fill the values all zero this is zero at term m zero this is zero zero one so this is one term then this is two this is three then you can say one zero zero so this is four this is five this is sixth seventh then it is eighth will come here right so this is eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth thirteenth fourteenth fifteenth now what is 16? 16 will be 1 and all 0. So 16 will come here. 1, all 0. B bar, C bar, D bar, E bar. It is 16th. This is 17th, 18th and 19th. Then A, B, C bar, D bar, E. That means 16 plus 8. It is 24. So this is 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Right? And ABC it will give you 16 plus 8, 24 plus 4, 28, right? So it is 28, 29, 30, and 31. Now what is remaining? Then 20th will come here. 16 plus 4, it is 20, right? So 20, 21, 22. And 23 so this is the construction of five variable k map right now if you draw six variable k map the same combination we can try here d e f let's say so we are getting six variable k map so i'm just drawing with different color so let's draw it like this and it will having same number of columns eight columns eight rows and i am taking six variable in this so six variables i am taking a b c this side and d e f this side right so here it will be a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c a bar b c a bar b c bar then we will take a bar a only because now the combination of a b c bar then we will take a b c then we will take a b bar c and then we will take a b bar c bar similarly this side we can take d bar e bar f bar then d bar e bar f then d bar e f then d bar e f bar then remaining four we need to write so let me clear this just a moment so let me clear this five variable came up right and then we can select this and okay so let's say i'm adding it to the new page right now here we can stretch it out further so let's say there is few more cells which we wanted to add so after this d will be there sorry 
after this there will be d and after d you can say it will be so let me draw the lines like this this is the very first thing then this is second and this is fourth then this is fifth okay it will help us to set it so it is d e uh, d e f bar now after that you come to d e f and then after d e f after d e f you will get you will get d e bar f and then last last we will have d e bar f bar right so this will be the combination and if you start mentioning the min terms so let's write the min terms we can write the min term like this so we start from zero we know the combination it is b bar right so i'm just highlighting it this is this is here b bar right okay now this thing and then the last so you write it this is m0 then you can write i think so this is 0 0 0 0 0 1 so this is 1 this is all 0 0 and then 1 1 so it will become 3 then it will become 2 right all 0 and this is 1 1 0 so it is 2 and 4 it is 6 then it is all 0 so it will become 7 then it is it is all 0 1 0 1 so it is 4 plus 1 5 and this is all 0 1 0 0 so 1 0 0 it will become 4 right now this is all 0 and 1 triple 0 so 0 1 2 3 that means it is 8 then it will become 9 then it is 10 11 then 12 then 13 then 14 then 15 right so this is 1 uh, 0 1 1 so it is 8 and it is 16 so it will become 16 plus 8 16 plus 8 it is 24 so it is 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 now this is 0 1 0 all 0 so this is 0 0 0 1 2 3 and 4 so it is 16 2 to the power 4 that means 16 17 then 18 19 then 20 21 22 and 23 then it is 1 1 all 0 so in this 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 4 it is 32 plus 16 it will give us 48 so it is 48 49 then it gave us 50 it is 51 52 53 54 55 now this is a b bars c it is a now it cannot be b bar c because there will be two bit difference in case it is a b bar c so 
after this it can be abc it is abc it, this is not bar this is abc only right this is abc only so this is abc right and here we will get b bar c right so here it is bar in this place it is bar right it is so abc that means 32 plus 16 plus 8 so 48 plus 8 it will give us 56 right so this is 56 57 then 58 59 60 61 62 63 then it is a b bar c so it is 32 plus 16 is missing and then 8 remaining are 0 so it is 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 and then this is 1 double 0 so this is 32 only 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 and 39 so this is the overall construction of six variable k map okay in next class we will be solving multiple problems on k map so it is sufficient for this lecture thank you